Hello everybody and welcome to this week's craft. I'm Allie Cobb, Director of Children's Youth and Family Ministries at St. John's United Methodist Church and I have my special helper Emery with me this afternoon and happy 4th of July week. It's almost time for <laughs> setting off some fun fireworks. So for this week's story we read about when Moses um, helped the Israelites um, leave um, being slaves and how on their way um, to the promised land where they were able to worship Jesus and everything, they ran into a little bit of a problem. The king changed his mind and said that they couldn't be free anymore, that they had to come back and be slaves, and he sent his army out after them. And now we learned that Moses prayed to God and was able to keep them all safe when he parted the Red Sea, and the people were able to walk through the Red Sea, they might have ran through the Red Sea, and then the sea came back and it took away all the soldiers. So we are going to make two versions of our very own Red Sea today. So what I have here, hey sweetie, is I have kind of like a like light tan brownish sort Ooh. of piece of paper that this is gonna be kind of like my ocean floor. And then I also have a blue piece of paper. Now for my blue piece of paper, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, my scissors are over there. Hold on one second. <laughs> I know that was silly. Okay. I know, mommy's silly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my piece of paper in about half like this, and I'm going to make some ocean waves out of it. So once my piece of paper is in half like this, and it's best um, if you go the length of your paper and everything, so I'm gonna be doing hot dog style. <laughs> hot dog style. <laughs> I know, it's a hot dog style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut, but I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom. I'm just gonna go about, probably about three fourths of the way. So I'm gonna cut my pieces of paper about three fourths of the way, kinda like that. And then what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do it all the way down, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to gently roll it. So it's kind of uh, yeah. Not quite a ball, but so it kind of makes like a little wave like this. And so I did that. Hold on, sweetie. So I did that already. And I have a piece of paper that I wrote that was the same one from before. And I wrote down it that God makes a way for all of his people. And so what we're going to do is I have a little bit of glue. Yes, sweetie. Uh -huh. And keep them all safe. Mm -hmm. God kept, keeps everybody all nice and safe. <laughs> Just kind of like how like mommies and daddies keep you safe, God also keeps us safe. So I just put um, a little strip of glue down at my edge and I'm going to glue my ocean waves that I already curled up um, over it like so. Uh -huh. You have to draw people too? Well, we're not going to draw a person because remember I had you color a Moses for me earlier. So see, we kind of have like our little ocean wave. Um, and earlier, Emery colored a Moses for me. Our Moses is pink. And what we're gonna do yeah, is, like my favorite color. pink is your favorite color. I left a little bit at the bottom when I cut it so I could just fold it up. And then we're just gonna put a little piece of glue on it. And then there is our Moses. Can I keep everything tonight? Yeah, you want everything in your room. And there is our Moses parting our Red Sea. Now, if you have some tissue paper that's blue, you could always do that on the side for your waves. Or our tissues. Or, or no, probably like blue, like tissue paper. <laughs> now, Emery, I have an important job for you. What is in oceans? Mm, they make waves, um, and you can go. Do in you ever them. see fish in the water? Can I have that sticker? I have some Jesusy type stickers. Do you want to put some Jesus's fish called Ichthuses on our ocean? for me while I do this next part. Mm. Now I have a little bit of an oil and water craft, um, little sensory thing for everybody also to do, because as we learned, Jesus parted the Red Sea. So what I have here is a half bottle of water, and what I'm gonna do with it is I am going to put a little bit of red food coloring in it. Well, actually, accidentally picked this by accident. You, that's okay, you have the God sticker. Well, God did help the people. You wanna put God on the ocean floor? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of red food coloring in my water and um, then I'm going to shake it so that it gets all nice and incorporated. Probably, probably I will put... You see my red water? Mmm. Ow, you don't want to drink it. Okay, now here comes the next... thing it Now here comes our next part where it's kind of nice if you have a funnel. I didn't grab mine, but I have some vegetable oil. And what you're going to do is you're going to carefully add your vegetable oil 
um, to I'm, your water. I'm going to add some people. Because as we know, oil and water do not mix. They separate. So it might take it a minute to settle I'm, down. I'm, I'm gonna but eventually the oil is going to rise up to the top. Kind of like how in the Red Sea, how the Red Sea and the land separated. Mm -hmm. Hold on, sweetie. The Red Sea and the land separated. Kind of like what our little sensory ball is going to do. There we go. And you can kind of see it already starting. So we have that. And you might want to put like a piece of maybe like duct tape or maybe glue your lid down if your kiddos are extra adventurous. And if you have like any like little um, like plasticky type like fish or whatever, you can always put it in there. But you know that you can have your ocean. And then when Moses told the seas to stop and calm, then you'll get to see some part, kind of like what it happened back in Bible times. So there is your little craft, and it's starting to kind of separate there. But anyways, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed your Red Sea craft for this week. We enjoyed having you, and we added a few more stickers to her project. Well, we yeah. hope that you guys have a great 4th of July, and you stay safe, and you have a great rest of your week. And thank you for joining us. Emery, can you say bye? Bye. Bye.